Calling all flat earthers. You guys, I'm talking about you guys. I mean, uh, yeah, flat earthers. Yep, all those flat earthers and uh, around earth conspiracy theorists alike. Welcome. This is your time. Your time has come. Now is the chance to prove yourself correct. Do you want to win money? Do you want to have the chance to prove yourself correct? Finally, after all these years and hard work. Well, here's your chance. Because Flat Earthers are getting uh, their own reality TV show. <laughs> oh boy, guys, here we go. Flat Earthers are getting their own TV reality TV show. The world's stupidest conspiracy theory is coming to a streaming platform near you. So, what happened? Well, I'm going to tell you because this is brand new news. So if you've been living under a rock for the past 20 years and don't know what flat earthers are and what flat earth means, basically it's as the title suggests that the earth, the people believe that the earth is flat like a pancake instead of round like a ball. This is a theory that's been proven incorrect and it's only believed by the most stupidest people alive. <laughs> so. Yeah, and as the title suggests, Flat Earthers are going to get their own TV show, guys. This is crazy. Like, oh my god, this is amazing content. Give me all the content, please. Yes. So, IndieWire is another news uh, channel that we'll look at pretty soon here. Reports that a new reality TV show is in the works that will pay conspiracy theorists money to actual money, guys to pursue their beliefs that the Earth is actually shaped like a frisbee. <laughs> Not a basketball, as I just said. The show, which is described as a part docu-series and part competition show. So basically, like, you're gonna get, you're gonna be getting, like, the best of both worlds, guys. You're gonna be getting, or no, the best of three worlds. You're gonna get the idiotic uh, flat earthers going at each other. You're gonna get a survival, like, what is that show called? Sur uh, survivor, survivor type show. And you're gonna get a documentary, all like Ancient Aliens. It's like Ancient Aliens Survivor combined had a baby that looked really ugly. Um, <laughs> so peak content, peak entertainment is coming to you in a streaming platform near you pretty soon here, guys. So it will actually supply the conspiracy theorists with $50,000 worth of resources to conduct research. And they will have to basically pr present their findings in the show. They present their findings to uh, the panelists of uh, scientists, theologians, and uh, cartographers. And cartographers for people who are don't know what that is. It's people who make maps, basically. So if they can convince that if they can convince scientists, theologians, and cartographers that the Earth is indeed flat, then they will win a cash prize. Well, let me break it to you. They will not win a cash prize. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Okay. You don't need okay so first of all there's an there's an issue with this because first of all flat earthers do not really believe like in the science that that we think of as science okay and they don't like they they don't you can't it's kind of it's kind of contradictory to try to get to try to have them prove their findings to scientists and theologians and cartographers that they do not like believe in like that they do not believe in their their uh their ideas and ideologies that basically facts okay <laughs> so anyway the show is going to be premiering on the uh this uh network the network which is a reality a rel a, blah, a relatively new free streaming app that appears to have a pretty limited content selection so far so for those of you who don't know the who the, uh the network is basically this is their what's their website i'll show you what it, i'll show you what it looks like right here so welcome to the network always originals always free so you can sign up for free basically uh, the show is not out, well, the show is not out yet um but basically what the article as the article said that there will only be two shows at one time instead of like a full library but uh so there's only two shows out right now and that flat earthers is not out right now at the moment let me show you guys an, another article that i found um that goes more in depth on this so let's check it out a new reality show will pay cash pl cash if players can convince experts that the earth is flat so this is this goes into a little bit more how the the show will work so flat earthers is described as a part docuseries part competition show as mentioned before in the other article and it will follow five families 
who each genuinely believe that the earth is flat. But rather than just document their exploits, the families will each be given $50,000. That's a boatload of uh, doubloons there, okay? Boatload of cash. $50,000 worth of resources of research uh, for research and will ultimately present their findings to a panel of scientists, theologians, and cartographers. And if they can convince them it's flat, which they are not going to be able to do, then they will get a cash prize, which we don't know. It's not disclosed yet. We don't know how much the cash prize is, but I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be around 100k. I'm assuming this is how usually how these shows work. Um, they don't really spend. They don't really spend that much. They're kind of cheap. <laughs> I like how it says there may not be a winner of the series. We'll bet against it. Yep, me too. I'm going to bet against it. So according to Indian Wire, the the show uh, Flat Earthers, as it's going to be called, uh, will actually be 10 episodes long and it will air in this December. So mark your calendars for December because we're going to be watching the Flat Earthers. Well, I can't watch. It's probably, you know, can't watch it because of DMCA and copyright reasons and all that shit. But yeah, we got to We got to watch this for sure. We, you guys got to watch this and I'm going to watch this and we're going to talk about it when it comes out. Oh, yeah, that's going to be quality content on the channel. Hell yeah. <laughs> So first of all, guys, the flat earth thing, <laughs> there was already a thing done. Like, I think I believe I don't exactly know the full details, but there was already like a like a scenario where the flat earthers wa wanted so bad to prove that their theory was correct, that they bought. They spent twenty thousand dollars or something on a, a laser. Um, what is that thing? Oh, it's a laser gyroscope to measure the rotation of the earth. And that things apparently they cost like 20K. I don't know. I've never bought a laser gyroscope to measure the rotation of the earth before. But so they bought this like this $20,000 gyroscope, laser gyroscope, only to prove themselves wrong. Let me see if I can find the article for you guys. OK, here it is. Here it is. Yeah. yeah. So when flat earthers spent $20,000 trying to prove the earth is flat and accidentally <laughs> proved it's round. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember this. This was a while back. But in uh, let's see. Um, so like one of those flat earthers is Bob Nodal, a nodal, Canodal, Canodal, uh, who boasts a YouTube channel entirely dedicated to the theory and who is one of the team, one of the members of the team relying on. Uh, a $20,000 laser gyroscope to prove the Earth doesn't actually rotate. Well, uh, except it does. <laughs> so what we found is when turned on the when we turned on the gyroscope, we found that that we were we found that we were picking up a drift. Note explains a 15 degree per hour drift. OK, <laughs> so it's like it's like crazy. It, it was crazy news. I remember when this came up. So basically, they just proved themselves wrong. And it was hilarious because they spent 20K on it. Guys, flat earth theory can be proven wrong with even without science. And the greatest person to show this to you is a man named Carl Sagan, who is a, a scientist. But unfortunately, he passed away a, bit, a while ago, but he was like one of the greats, one of the first like great, you know, scientists to tell us about the, the mysteries of the universe in uh, on media, you know, like television, inner uh, what's it called? Uh, interviews on TV shows and stuff. One of the first guys to do that. And this is like, okay, so he explains it so great without even any science. He explains it with a map. Okay. Carl Sagan explains explanation of how the ancient Greeks knew the earth was round. So guys, check this out. Here's a map of ancient Egypt. I've inserted two sticks or obelisks, one up here in Alexandria and one down here in Syene. Now, if at a certain moment, each stick casts no shadow, no shadow at all, that's perfectly easy to understand, provided the Earth is flat. If the shadow at Syene is at a certain length. So that makes sense, because like the first part of this is like he's saying that, well, if the Earth was flat, then there would be no shadows in both locations. That would make makes perfect sense, right? If the Earth was flat is the same length. That also makes sense on a flat Earth. But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. And there you have it, guys. Obviously, if the Earth... Okay, so if the guy has a statue or whatever, something vertical, very tall, like a building or whatever. Okay, same statue. We'll put it in, you know, up there in the north and we'll put one down in the south. How many, however many clicks. 
and then you're gonna see that at the same you know what the sun relative to the earth just shows that the shadows will will be different lengths right because the earth is round if the earth was flat as he said there will be the no difference in the shadow length in both places eratosthenes knew the distance between alexandria and syene he knew it was 800 kilometers why because he hired a man to pace out the entire distance so that he could perform the calculation i'm talking about what a chad what a chad man that guy that paced out 800 kilometers what a chad what a chad let's pray let's give a let's give a, let's give him a round of applause for that now 800 kilometers times 50 is 40,000 kilometers so that must be the circumference of the earth that's how far it is to go once around the earth that's the right answer eratosthenes's only tools were sticks eyes feet and brains yeah so all you need is like sticks eyes feet and brains to prove that the the earth is round and i mean obviously that the flat earthers will have sticks eyes and feet but they won't have any brains we already know that <laughs> so yeah so well we can't fault them for that but you know anyway it's like it's ridiculous to th it's ridiculous to think the earth is flat okay because as Carl Sagan just explained, you can't, you don't even need science to explain it. You can, it's like, you can pace it out yourself. You can even do it. They should do that. They should do that. Instead of paying for a $20,000 laser gyroscope, they should literally just take the time and energy to pace out this, do the same experience that the ancient Greeks do, the ancient Greeks did, and just pace it out. Okay. Just pace it out, measure it. And then just like, you can do like, um, Skype, whatever, uh, video call, FaceTime, whatever. You can do that with the technology now. Just FaceTime the guy that's in uh, Cairo and FaceTime the guy that's in um, uh, whatever it is down there, whatever they end up down there. And uh, yeah, just say, oh, let's look at the shadows. Oh, they're different. The one in Cairo is longer because the sun is like this on the earth. And the one is, uh, the one in the, the south is shorter because it's closer this way, okay? <laughs> I, I'm not a scientist, so I can't explain it as well as Carl Sagan. But anyway, the, there's no way. This is like with that, you can just prove that the Earth is not flat. <laughs> it just it is it is is insane how many people still believe that the Earth is flat. And I cannot wait for this flat Earthers TV show, reality TV show, to come out. I'm totally gonna watch the heck, uh, watch the heck out of it, man. And you should too. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that. That was some news I just saw uh, recently, and I thought that was really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. You know, subscribe. Do, do, do that. Do that. Yeah. Anyway, see ya. Thanks. Bye.